So we've got a quantitative research group, which is um, led by my colleague Chris Dewberry, and we've got a qualitative research group, which I lead. So we decided to divide up our research group by methodology uh, because in many ways it just makes practical sense and it also so happens that we work on quite different areas topic-wise. So the quantitative research group, one of their primary areas of expertise is really is to look at staff selection and recruitment but also health and well-being issues in the workplace, looking at what we call socialization which is induction and how people uh, get inducted into organizations whereas our qualitative research group we've got quite a few of us who are interested in careers and lifelong development in a very broad sense in the workplace but we also do research around work-life balance and some really exciting and I think cutting-edge stuff also around how technology is influencing how we work. We do have a tree very successful and robust research centers, uh, first of which is the Center for Innovation Management Research. Uh, this uh, center uh, accommodate academics who are working in the area of uh, innovation management, but also entrepreneurship, small business, uh, creative industries, and so on and so forth. We also have um, the Sports Business Center, um, again, it's been going on for quite some time, very, very successful. And we do have also London Corporate Governance Center, um, which reflects the reality that the last major global financial crisis came, a, came about as a, as a result of failure of uh, corporate governance. So it is a, this center responds to the need for enhanced quality of corporate governance. The two research centers, um which are run from within the department. One is the London uh, Knowledge Lab, which is now called the Birkbeck uh, Knowledge Lab. Um, this is um, basically an interdisciplinary uh, center uh, which focuses on bringing uh, researchers from diverse uh, research backgrounds together um, to do research uh, examples are in uh, education um, or in uh, um, the arts and humanities where there is need for uh, computing, uh, which we basically uh, work with, with these uh, different researchers uh, on. The second center, which is one which has been set up this year, is uh, the Birkbeck um, Institute for Data Analytics. This uh, center has a remit um, to look at big data, data analytics, um, which are becoming very um, hot topics in computer science and with other disciplines. And the idea here is also not only within computer science, but in various other uh, disciplines such as uh, geography, geology, also the humanities. Um, researchers have large amounts of data that need to be analyzed and the institute is really set up for us computer scientists to work together with people within the college and outside the college on these big data sets and, and analyzing them. There are four main research groups in the department. There's mathematics, which covers like the pure end of mathematics, which is actually what I, what I specialize in, through to the applied maths and, and financial mathematics applications. And then there's statistics um, and econometrics, which is, so some of that is, is just sort of pure statistics, and, and, then, and then ranging through to the applications to economics, so econometrics. Um, and then we've also got microeconomics group and a macroeconomics group. Okay, so there's four main groups, and within, within a group, what you do is you're working together um, in that general research area, so you might not necessarily all be working on the same project, but the idea is that you can, you can bounce ideas off each other, you can tell each other what you're doing, you might sometimes collaborate on research papers, or you might just share what you're doing and, and, and you know, build on the ideas that your colleagues have. So it's a, it's a very productive mechanism to just to get your thinking going and to, and to broaden the research that you might have. 
Um, we produce papers and we, we call them preprints or working papers and those are we put all on the website so if people are interested in to see what the department is doing they can just go to our website they can look at the different research groups find out who's in each one we describe our research and then you can look at the papers that we're working on at the moment so that's a good way if you want to find out more about what we're actually doing.